What's up everybody, it's CJ Plays here, and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview. Today we're going to be looking at Nisi Grantius, hopefully I pronounced that right. But this is a small Grecian island off of the coast of Crete, and this world was made by Seam Loves Sims, or Sim love sims hopefully i pronounced that right now this world is really really cool y'all it just came out and I'm, I'm really excited to check it out as y'all can see it's on the medium size so it's not like a gigantic world but it does have quite a few lots that we're gonna check out today now there are some things to keep in mind with this world for one it is unpopulated it doesn't have any sims that live here it does use quite a bit of expansion packs so it uses world adventures ambitions late night pets generations supernatural seasons university and into the future it does not have any custom content and it also uses minimal store content but i don't really know what that means like i don't really know what store content it uses so i guess we'll see as we go along now also one more thing to keep in mind that this world has some empty lots that don't really have names i think that was because of the ea app in the creator world tool so the creator was basically just saying how there's like a process when you make worlds called edit in game and basically you take your world that you're working on in the creator world tool you take it from that into like the sims 3 but for whatever reason the ea app isn't really compatible with that so i think some of the lots in this world are blank so i think that's the reason why some of these lots are unnamed but i don't really mind that too much so hopefully ea can fix it soon so we can start to use the creator world tool with the ea app but I don't really know. But why don't we just go ahead and get into the video, y'all? So why don't we go ahead and go down here? This is the priest secret. So I think this is a supernatural hangout, I want to say. So why don't we just check this lot out first? Okay, so this is the priest secret. And it looks really nice on the outside, but let's open it up. Ooh, this is nice and fancy. Hold on. So this looks like a little chapel, you know? I mean, priest secret. So I'm guessing it's like a church kind of, or like a chapel. So you have a place where you can have your Sims come and get married. You have a dance floor. You also have like a little jelly bean bush in the corner. You have places to sit down. And then you have your buffet table. You even have your lunar horoscope item. Oh, and you also have your little spell book. So this right here, y'all, is store content. So it's the little spell book. Okay, um, going on this way though this appears to just be like maybe a bathroom or maybe like a little dressing room it has like a toilet and it has a mirror and there are some stairs down here so why don't we go ahead and go downstairs real quick so when you go downstairs ooh, kind of fancy okay so when you go downstairs you have like a little sitting area right here you also have a bar and then you even have a little platform with some instruments on it. So you can have your late night bands come down here perform. And then over here, you have like a little alchemy room where you can have your Sims come and do alchemy. And you can have them like display like stuff over here on this little shelf if you want to. But I think that's pretty much it for this lot. Okay, so now let's go across the street. So this is one of the blank lots that I were telling y'all about. But let's just check it out. It is a resort. So let's just check it out. Okay, y'all. So we're down here at this resort. Ooh, I like the little cherry blossom trees out here let's go ahead and open it up it's looking super fancy Let, let's go all the way down i guess we could start over here so over here you have like another chapel where you can have your sims come and get married you have places to sit down your wedding arch over here and then you also have a little stereo um there's even like a tanning booth so i mean you can have your sims come and tan if you want <laughs> but let's go ahead and keep moving on this way so this appears to be buffet tables so you can have your sims come and get food out here and eat um you can have them sit down at the tables over here as well moving on over this way i think this is one of the rabbit hole rooms so this is just like a rabbit hole um there's a little fire pit out here you have a hot tub going over this way you have a gym where you can have your sims come and work out this appears to just be like a bedroom over here you have a little like sitting area room with the piano out here you have your pool and then you also have your poolside bar and then there's something over here in this building so out here this is like another bedroom and then going back over this way, you have a bathroom. And then right here, you have your front check-in desk. So you have like a little lobby area in here. Now I want to go ahead and go upstairs because there might be some stuff that I missed out on. So let me just scroll all the way up. So over here though, you just have a room. And then you have like another bar over here with the hot coals that your Sims can walk on. Let me just scroll up again to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think that I am. I think we pretty much seen everything. Let me just check one more time. Yeah, so I think we've seen everything. But this is like a really nice resort though okay so now let's go ahead and go over here this is the bean house okay so this appears to be like a cafe or a coffee shop 
let's go ahead and open it up. So when you come in, you have your little sweet treat register. You have some planter boxes. So I guess you can grow stuff in here if you want to. You have a little area where you can come and sit down. There are tables out here on the outside of the lot. And there's even a little bathroom here too. But now let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have computer desk up here where you can have your Sims come and use. There is a table. A bookshelf and then out here you have a balcony with an art easel so you could definitely have your sims come here to build some skills or just to come and hang out drink some coffee get some food and stuff like that so this is a really cool lot you know what why don't we go ahead and go back this way and check out these lots and then we'll come back over this way so let's go over here now to this lot so i think this is like a park so we're down here at this lot this lot just has your vote of iniquity and i don't really think it has anything else out here though but you have your vote of iniquity if you need it for something okay so why don't we go over here next to the cliffside stoa so let's check this out so we're down here at the cliffside stoa this is an arcade lot so why don't we go ahead and open it up real quick Ooh. so down here you have some bowling lanes you have tables when you scroll upstairs, you have plenty of arcade cabinets and Wackanome and stuff like that. You have the claw machine over here as well. And you also have some bathrooms over here on the far end. But I think that's pretty much it for this lot, though. It's like a really nice arcade lot. So now let's go across the street to this gym. OK, so we're down here at the gym. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, let's see. So over here, you have some treadmills. You have a bar. You have your weight machines over here in the corner. When you go upstairs, you have a telescope. You have a little brain machine. So this comes with university. And then out here, you have some drink machines. And then over here in the corner, you have your bathroom and then you have a tanning booth over here too so that's kind of cool but i think that's pretty much it though for this lot all right so now we're going to go ahead and go beside it this is the bar so let's go ahead and check this out okay y'all so we're down here at the bar Let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Let's see. So when you come in, you have a big dance floor. You have a stereo. Over here, you have some drink machines and tables to sit down at. Going over this way, you have a pool table. You also have your bathroom over here in the back. And then when you scroll upstairs, there's even like a little firefighter pole in here too. So when you go upstairs though, you have a couple of arcade games and Wackanome and stuff like that. You also have a claw machine. And then you also have a little photo booth. I might be mistaken y'all, but I think that you need to have some chairs right here for this object to actually work but i could be wrong about that no yeah i was right you do need to have a chair for this so if you play on the slot maybe try to get like some chairs right here so your sims can use it so over here you have your bar you have places to sit down and then there is another stairway oh there's also like a bathroom here too <laughs> but there's also a stairway so when you go upstairs it leads you to the top so you have two dance floors you have some instruments in the corner you also have a balcony where you can come out on if you want to and there's also like the pole that kind of comes here too but i think that's everything for this lot okay so there is like a house over here y'all we're gonna check this stuff out later on but i kind of want to get through some of the community lots so why don't we go over here to this part of the world we have not seen anything over here yet so why don't we start back here this is another bar i don't really know how to pronounce this but there is another bar so why don't we go ahead and check this out all right so we're down here at this bar let's go ahead and open it up so i guess we can start all the way down at the bottom like why not so all the way down here you have a bar you have a coffee machine and you have tables down here as well there is a dartboard you have the juice keg object over here you have like a dance floor and a stereo even a little effect machines over here too and then you have your bathrooms down here but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs i guess we could start over here in this room so you have a bar a tv some arcade games you have a stereo over here you have a little music room with some instruments going over this way though you have a claw machine and then out here you have a place to sit down and relax there's the hot coals that your sims can walk on there's a fire pit out here as well and then over here in the corner you just have another place to sit down let me try to scroll up a little bit just to make sure i'm not missing anything so i think that was everything for this lot okay so now let's go back this way so this is a park why don't we check this out real quick okay so we're down here at this little park it has like a little building right here so you have like that little like rhythmicon laser like instrument from into the future you also have an art easel you have a jelly bean bush and you also have like a place to sit over here you have the baton pass game from ambitions and then there's also some places to sit this is an apartment we're going to skip over some of the houses but let's get through the rest of the community lots so over here you have an alchemy shop let's check this out so we're down here at the alchemy shop and this looks super fancy on the outside why don't we go ahead and open it up so down here at the very bottom you have your register you have a bathroom you have a piano you have an alchemy station in the back with the gym cutting machine when you go upstairs you have a rocking chair in the corner 
you also have a pool table and then you have like a little place to sit down so i guess up here is more like a lounge kind of area chill spot area when you go upstairs again you have a chemistry table okay there's also a table over here where you can come and sit down at so very nice and classy and then when you go upstairs again you really only have like these little displays there's also the lunar horoscope item out here and then when you go upstairs again, you just have a skeleton. So I guess you can come to this lot to build some skills. I'm really hoping that I'm not missing any of the store content. So, you know, hopefully I'm not missing anything too important though. But this is a really cool lot. Now, right next door to it, we have this building. This is Cat's Wash and Dry. So I'm assuming this is a laundromat. I like the Tudor style on the outside of it though. But let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah, so this is a laundromat. Okay. So you have your washers, you have your dryers in here. You have a little place to sit down. I like all the windows and stuff in here too but you have like a little sitting area. You even have a litter box, so you can bring your cats here if you want to. <laughs> um, over here, you have a little cat tree. You have a little sleeping bag for the cats, and uh, you have like a scratching post and like a cat condo over here as well. And now let's go ahead and go upstairs. Ooh, it's like a little cafe too. So you have like your sweet treat register, places to sit down. You even have a record player over here. I want to say this record player is store content, by the way. And then over here in the corner, you have your bathrooms. And then when you scroll upstairs again, you have a shuffleboard object. And then you have a cat castle up here as well. So you could definitely come and bring your pets to this lot if you want to. All right, so now let's go over here. This is a salon. So let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the salon and it's like right out here by the water. So you have like these little places to sit down, like right by the water if you want to. There's even like a little playground out here as well. And you even have like a chess table. So that's kind of cute. And over here, oh, you have like little spring rides. Okay, so you have like some spring rides, there's a toy box, you have the hopscotch object as well. There's even like a little place where you can come and grill and eat out here if you want to. There's some drink machines, but now let's go ahead and open up the building. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. So, when you come in, I guess this is like your lobby area where you can just sit down and stuff like that. So over here you have your stylist stations where you can come and give makeovers. You have your bathroom in the corner and you have a drafting table over here in the corner. So you can have your sims come over here and like do fashion concepts and stuff like that. But when you go upstairs, you have a bar, you have some mirrors over here, you have a little place to sit in the corner. Over here, you have your tattoo room, and then you also have a bar over here too. And when you go upstairs again, you have a pool table, there's a little stereo, you have a place to sit down. So I guess if you work here, you can use this as like a little break room if you want to, or like a little break area. All right, so let's keep going on over this way. Why don't we go over here really quick? This is a library. So let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the library. This looks very nice. It's kind of like built into the cliffside. But now let's go ahead and open it up. So I guess we could start over here first. So when you come into the lot, though, you have your bathrooms. You have a sculptor station over here. And you also have a gym cutting machine over here in the corner. You have a bar and there's also a dartboard but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a couple of computer desks you have places to sit down there is a bookshelf over here going over this way you have another desk i, I guess this is like the front desk or like the main desk you have a chess table over here as well um i want to say that this lamp right here is store content i hope i'm not mistaken but i think it's store content um, why don't we try to go upstairs again? So I don't think there's anything else in this building, but now I want to go over here to this one. So outside of it, you have a bonfire, but I don't really know what's on the inside of it. So let's open it up. So, oh, okay. So you have a piano, there's a telescope. You also have an alchemy station, and then you also have the spell book. So I guess you can come here to build some skills if you want to. All right. So now let's go back over this way. This right here appears to be like a store of some sort. So let's check it out. I love the color scheme. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Let's start over here first. So when you come in, you have a register. Oh, it's a bookstore. Okay, so you have a book register. You have some bookshelves, places to sit down, a rocking chair. Oh, even some nice like throw pillows too. <laughs> but going over this way, you just have a room with a bar. And I don't think there's anything else in this building though. I think it's just like a one story building. So now let's go over here to this lot. So this is a festival grounds at the cannery. So this is a festival ground. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're down here at the festival ground lot let's go ahead and open it up so on the inside i guess it's empty right now because there's no festivals going on out here in the back you have a grill and some picnic tables and when you go upstairs it's kind of empty as well
well, but you do have some bathrooms over here. But I'm gonna assume that when there is a festival going on that, you know, you'll have, you know, stuff over here replaced with the boxes though. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go next door to it. Why don't we go over here really quick? This is the Drowning in Luxury. So this is like a dance club. Let's check this out. Okay, so we're down here at the Drowning in Luxury. So this is a dance club. It's really nice. I like the pool out here. You have a bar going over this way you have some instruments where you can have your sims come and perform over here you have a dance floor and a stereo and then over here in the corner you just have some places to sit down but this lot is like really really nice y'all and it's like right by the water too so that's like a plus <laughs> all right y'all so now let's go ahead and go across the street this appears to be like an art gallery so why don't we check this out Ooh, this lot is really really nice i like the water fountains out in front it's so classy <laughs> well let's open it up so when you first come in you have a lot of different light fixtures on display you know and i think this is story content i think this is also store content if i'm not mistaken but you have a lot of different lamps and stuff that's on display you do have a bathroom over here in the corner and then you have like more lamps over here when you go upstairs you have some more lights and stuff over here on the wall so maybe this is like a light museum maybe there's also some more lights over here as well this is pretty interesting you have like more lamps and stuff over here i want to say that this one is also store content but i could be wrong about that now let's go ahead and go upstairs again though so when you go upstairs again you have more lights up here so i think this one is from like supernatural so this is really interesting okay very interesting i have never seen anything like this i don't think in the sims before there's even like a little upstairs balcony part that you can kind of walk out on if you want to but now let's go ahead and go upstairs again so when you go all the way to the very top oh you have like these little lights up here that's really nice um but you also have like a little sitting area and then you have a you have a room with a drafting table so i guess you can come here to build a skill if you want to but this is a very interesting lot though i really like it all right so now let's go right across the street and this is the ocean view square lounge so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the ocean view square lounge let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have a pretty empty room over here but i'm sure you can add stuff if you want to i guess this is where the bouncers would be um but moving on this way though you have a room with some instruments and you have some places to sit down very classy and then when you go upstairs you have a big dance floor in here you have a bar you even have like a little stereo in here as well and i think that might be it for this lot um out here in the back though you do have places to sit down okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to this lot this is the picnic parko hopefully i said that right but let's check it out all right so we're down here at the picnic parko again i really hope i pronounced that right but this is really cool it's like very modern too why don't we check out this building and then we'll check out the other one so at the very top you just have a telescope but let me just scroll down to make sure i'm not missing anything i don't think there's really anything in here though it's just a bunch of stairs oh there's all in one bathroom so there is something in here but now let's go over here to this building i don't know what's on the inside of it okay so you have a food synthesizer okay you have a drink synthesizer you have a place to sit you even have a sink in here and then you have some places to sit down out here if you want to so i guess you could have your sims come eat food out here or maybe go like on a little picnic or something like that it looks very beautiful y'all like this world is so well made i really love the way it looks okay well let's go ahead and keep moving on this way because we have a couple of more community lots to check out i think these might be the only ones left i don't i think we've seen everything else i think yeah okay let's go ahead and go over here though this is a graveyard lot so let's check this out okay y'all so we're down here at the graveyard this looks so nice i love the little ruins and stuff like that around it very very nice um now again i will say this world is unpopulated so all of these graves are just decorative you can you know erase these to put your own down if you want to out here that's even like a death flower bush okay and some of these spotlight mushrooms all right i see you you also have your mausoleum out here there is a little pond where you can have your sims come and fish okay and um i don't think there's anything else on this lot though i think that's pretty much everything um so you could definitely you know put your graves down here if you want to now let's go ahead and go across the street this is a pool so let's check this out whoa y'all look at this little pool lot though hold on let's open it up wait wait wait. so when you come in you just have places to sit down you have your bathrooms over here in the corner you have juice pong tables out here there's a little small pool over here you have a shuffleboard object you have a big pool right here in the middle places to sit out here as well places to lounge you have like a little sweet treat register where you can come and get food and everyone can come and sit down and eat 
very classy out here y'all like this is so nice and there's even like some stairs so let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick there's a time machine hold on not a time machine in here okay so you have that and then over here you just have some saddles for horses you have a sculpture station and some sculptures and stuff like that but this is really really nice i like this lot okay so now let's go back this way so this is like a little park area i don't know what this is but there's some water down here and it's like right over here by a nectary so we'll check out the nectary afterwards but let's just check this little spot out just to see what this is so this just appears to be like a little fishing spot or like a little pond or something why don't we go ahead and check out the nectary though let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have your nectary register you have a bar a coffee machine you have a bathroom back here you have your nectar racks over here in the corner going over this way you have a little sitting room with some more nectar racks you even have a chess table over here in the back and then when you scroll upstairs, you have a dance floor, you have some mirrors, a bookshelf. Over here, you have a bathroom. So this sink right here, I think comes with the Bayside bathroom set. So this sink is store content, by the way. You have a little alchemy station in the corner, a place to sit down. You also have your love tester machine. This plant right here, y'all, is also store content, but it's free on the Sims 3 store, by the way. Now let's go ahead and go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs to the top, you have the machine where you can come and make nectar. And then you also have an art easel up here as well. And then you could definitely add more stuff in this room if you wanted to. But this lot is like so nice, y'all okay so now let's go back this way we'll go over here to this lot i think this is like another park let's just check it out y'all this is so nice hold on so you have some instruments over here and you have places to sit down imagine like having sims come out here to perform the scenery is so nice y'all like i really like this world y'all okay so let's go over here this is a fishing spot so let's check this out oh y'all look at this little fishing spot though it's so cute out here you can like have your sims come and fish there's like a little bridge you can kind of walk over you have a little place to sit down over here and over here this is so nice there's even like a pomegranate tree you even have a salt lake for your horses this is so cute i like that now it is right over here by a lounge so we'll check out the lounge and then afterwards we'll check out this little hangout spot behind it so let's check out the lounge real quick okay so let's go ahead and open up the lounge Ooh, let's see so i guess we'll start down here at the bottom so over here you have your bathrooms and you have like a little place to sit in the hallway going over this way though oh i love the color scheme the purple <laughs> you have a bar you have some tables in here i guess you have to like you know get permission to come in so you know there's a bouncer probably that's going to be here but you have a jelly bean bush and then there's also like some more supernatural objects and then now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs this little section is empty but over here though you have some instruments you even have like these little mason jar lights this is store content by the way you have instruments and you have like a little place to sit down and then when you go upstairs you have a dance floor right here and then you have a stereo and then you have these little effect machines over here too so you can like have your sims kind of like party and stuff like that up here this is really nice and there's even like a little space right here where you can come and fish if you want to all right y'all so now we're going to check out this little hangout spot that's right behind it all right y'all so we're down here at this little hangout spot this appears to be like some ruins or something like that but there is a fire pit out here and you also have like a lot of different assorted items, some street art kits as well. Um, but why don't we go ahead and open up the building? There is a podium out here too. And so, and there's also a couple of art easels out here as well. But now let's go ahead and open up the building. So on the inside, you just have some more art easels. And again, there's a ladder that goes upward. So when you go upstairs, you just have, you know, an art easel up here. But this is really cool. Like, look at the view, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. I think this is the last community lot. This is a beach and it has a blank lot name so let's just check out the beach real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the beach you have plenty of places to lounge you have your lifeguard stand and you have some chairs over here as well you have a bonfire pit and then you also have a fire pit out here and then you have these little rooms i don't know what's on the inside of them but let's open them up real quick oh they're like little uh bathrooms okay so you have your all-in-one bathrooms there's also a mirror so i guess you can use them as like bathrooms and changing rooms if you want to and then over here though you also have the beach and all the water and stuff like that so you you could definitely come out here and do a lot of different beach activities if you would like to and you could definitely add more stuff if you want to as well but all right y'all that was the last community lot now we're going to go ahead and check out some of the houses i'm not going to get around to check out all of the houses today but i am going to skip around a little bit just to show y'all a general idea of what they look like so i'm going to start off by showing y'all the house that i placed elliot down at first so it's like right over here in this area so we're down here at elliot's house let's go ahead and open it up so only the middle portion is his house the other parts are kind of like inaccessible but when you come in you have your living room you also also have your kitchen is really nice in here too hold on when you go upstairs you have your 
bedroom. You have a bathroom over here as well. You have your like your armoire, bookshelf, and mirror. And then when you go upstairs, it kind of has like an empty room that leads you to the rooftop. So you could definitely add stuff out here if you want to. Why don't we check out the house that's right beside his? Because this one looks kind of cool. So when you come in, you have a living room, bathroom, kitchen over here. When you go upstairs, you have a bedroom slash nursery. You also have a bathroom in the back. It also has its own ensuite bathroom. And then when you go upstairs, you have some more bedrooms up here at the top. This house is like really, really nice, y'all. I like the way it looks. Really cool. Oh, why don't we check out this house right here, though? It's like right beside it. Hold on. Let's open up this one. Let's see. Okay, so when you come in, you have your bathrooms over here by the front door. You have a little living room area, your kitchen. You have a couple bedrooms right here. You have another bedroom, and then you have like another bathroom. And then you have like a lot of empty space, so you could definitely add more stuff if you want to. There is a bedroom right here as well. And then you have like a little courtyard area where you can add stuff out here if you want. That's really interesting. Why don't we check out this house right here? Let's go ahead and open up this one real quick. On the inside of this house, you have your living room, you have your dining room, you have a kitchen in the back. I don't really know what this could be though, but it's like another like empty addition to the house. Maybe you can have this be like a workshop or something like that, or maybe you can have like nectar stuff in here if you want to, but let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom over here, you have a bathroom in the hallway, and then you have a another bedroom right over here as well. So next up, y'all, I kind of want to zoom down here and I kind of want to check out maybe like this house and this house because I want to see like what this little area is. It looks like really nice. Let's just get a closer look. Ooh, y'all, look at this little area. Look at all the trees and stuff. Oh, look at these little stones over here too. This is so nice. Y'all, this world is like really, really nice. Go download this world, y'all. So nice. I like the little area out here. I kind of want to check out this house. So why don't we open up this one first? So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. So down here at the bottom, you just have a pool. And I think that's pretty much it for down here. But when you go upstairs, you have a kitchen area over here. You have a chest table, a kitchen table over here. You have a little office -y space over here in the corner. I like the windows and the trees and stuff around it. Very nice. Going over this way, though. You have a little workout area over here on the balcony. And let's go ahead and go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom over here. You have another bedroom over here in the corner. You have a little sitting area up here at the top. And then why don't we go upstairs again? So when we go upstairs again to the top of the house, you have a bedroom here with this on and suite. You have a little like private room over here. So you have a Bone Hilda coffin in this room. So I guess Bone Hilda has her own room. And then there's also like a little like area over here in this bedroom where you can come and sit down. I guess it's like a little sunroom. All right. So now let's check out this big one over here because I really want to see what this one looks like. Y'all look at this really big house. This is so nice. Wait, let's open it all the way up. So I guess we can start down here at the very, very, very bottom of the house. So down here you have a kitchen area. You also have a fish tank. This fish tank is store content, by the way, but you have like some tables down here here as well you have a little nectar room where you can come and make nectar and store nectar if you want to out here you have a nice pool area there's even like a chess table there's an alchemy station this tree right here this plant is also store content out here you have planters where you can come and like grow harvestable so like this is so nice y'all <laughs> but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have like this room right here this is like dedicated to like science and sci-fi kind of stuff so you have like the bot building machine you have like the science machine and this little brain machine from university you have some plumb bot charging pads over here Going over this way, you have a piano over here in the hallway. And then going over this way, you have like a home theater. So this is really nice. And going over here, you have a pool table and a little like, hold on. This even has like a little sweet treat register in here too. Like this is a house, y'all. Wow, these Sims is rich. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs again, I guess we can start over here. You have a lifeguard stand out here. You also have places to sit. Over here, you have some workout equipment and juice pong. There's an art easel in the hallway. You have a bedroom over here, another bedroom over here as well you have like a little like balcony area where you can play shuffleboard or you can just come and sit down over here you have another bathroom another bedroom there's a big fountain up here and there's also a bar and then you have like a little place to sit down and there's also like a smaller fountain over here as well but y'all this house is so nice like hello oh look i even missed some stuff too so at the very very top there is a fire pit and then you have a broom riding arena Okay, so you got like a lot of stuff to do on this lot, y'all. Okay, y'all, so now I kind of want to skip around. I kind of want to look at this house over here. Let's check this one out. All right, y'all, so we're down here at this house. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, this one is also nice on the inside, too. There's a pool in here. You have like a little sitting area, an office space, dining room, kitchen. You have a kitchen table. You have a bar over here, a bathroom. 
let's go ahead and go upstairs. So upstairs, I guess we could start over here. You have a recreational room over here with a foosball table and a juice pong table. There is a pool table out here in the hallway, a TV. You have like a little TV like sitting area over here. You have a gym. There is an art room over here where you can come and do art. You have a bar, an arcade on the inside of this house. There's a bathroom here. And then you have like a little science room over here as well. Another bathroom. And then you have like a music room and a telescope. Y'all, you can build so many skills in this house. Okay. <laughs> and then when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom over here with a couple of beds and a computer desk going over here on this side. You have another bedroom with its own ensuite. And then you have like a bookshelf right here with a little place to come and sit down. So this house is so nice too. Oh, I even missed some stuff too so over here you have a little room with the bone hilda coffin and then at the very top you have a room where you can come and do alchemy or like study from the spell book all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and skip around a little bit more why don't we check out maybe like this house over here next okay so we're down here at this house let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in though you have a bathroom i want to say that this tub is store content y'all but when you come inside the house you have a little drafting table you have your kitchen area over here you have a little recreational room a gym room over here you have a little greenhouse over here you have your dining table you have a living room area right here with another little sitting spot. I guess over here you have like another like TV room kind of. And then when you go upstairs, you have an arcade. You have a couple bedrooms over here and over here. And when you go upstairs again, oh, you have like a nursery over here. That's kind of cute with its own ensuite. Another bedroom with its own ensuite. A bathroom in the hallway. You have a little pet room and then you have another bedroom. And then out here in the back of the house, you have a pool. You have a bar. You have a grill, little patio area with a deck. There's a telescope and then you have places to lounge at with a stereo. So this house is also really nice. All right, y'all. So I think we'll check out maybe two more houses. Why don't we check out this one right here? And then maybe we'll check out this one. So let's check out this one. I think this right here is like one of the starter homes in the world. Yeah. So this right here, y'all, is one of the starter houses. Let's go ahead and open it up. So when you come inside, you have your kitchen, bathroom, living room. You have a little workspace. You have a desk back here that could be like a little workspace. And then you have your bed over here as well it's right by the water too so that's kind of cool and i guess we'll check out this house last okay y'all so we're down here at this house is really modern on the outside it has a nice pool bonfire out here juice keg bar stereo telescope let's go ahead and open it up Ooh, this house is really really nice hold on when you come in you have like a little office space over here this bookshelf by the way is store content you have a living room area over here with a bathroom going over this way you have a kitchen area you have a hot tub out here as well and then when you go upstairs you have a bedroom over here another bedroom a bathroom in the hallway and then out here you have like some skill building items so you have like a drafting table and you have a broadcaster object as well this house is so nice you know what y'all we'll check out one more house let's check out this one right here this will be the last one we look at though all right y'all so we're down here at this house let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have a bookshelf and a computer desk by the front door you have your bathroom a living room setup you also have a kitchen dining table when you scroll upstairs, you have a bathroom, a bedroom here and here. And this bedroom also has its own ensuite. And then when you scroll upstairs again, y'all, you have two more bedrooms. So you have this one with bunk beds. And then you have this one over here. There's also an art easel in the hallway. But I think that's pretty much it for this house. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Again, this world is called Nisi Grandius. Hopefully I pronounced that right. It's a very nice world, y'all. And it is brand new. So be sure to go ahead and check it out if you want to download it. If you would like to download this house, I will leave a link, link down below. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me over on Twitch where I stream a lot more of The Sims and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.